and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today, it's Tuesday. We got Team of the Week. I'm gonna be going over the offensive hero, the defensive hero, the LTD hero, and I'm gonna be going over all the set pieces, obviously, as we always do every week. Quite a few things. We do have one pre-release guide, and then we're going to go watch the stream and get the other ones. And as you guys know, they typically release one the night before, and then we get to see the rest during the stream. So I got to go watch the stream and everything, catch back up. But the first Team of the Week here looks pretty good. I think this is his second appearance on Team of the Week this year. Guys, by the way, make sure you are playing your Team of the Week solo challenges, because if you don't get this one done before it releases Tuesday, which is today, at around 1 to 2, which whenever it drops, you will, not, you will miss out on the chance to get that token, sadly. Although, you know... They might do a makeup. They typically in years past have done two to three makeups, but don't take that chance. Get them all done. So later in the year, if you go on a vacation or something, it won't really matter. You'll have them done already. Just don't, I just wouldn't take that chance. But guys, I think that pretty much covers the bulk of our intro, guys. But we do have the 25 days of Pood Mist. Don't forget to enter that. All you gotta do to enter the 25 days of Pood Mist is like the video, comment down below the secret word and the console you're playing on, and subscribe to the channel. Once you do those things, you are entered to win. Now, let's head over to Twitter slash Photoshop. Check out all the Team of the Week cards. Super excited for Team of the Week. Typically, Team of the Week is a fun time as long as they drop some good players. They have messed it up before. I think we'll probably get a few certain guys today, specifically Drew Brees, who I benched in fantasy this week, who did go off for about 50 points. So hopefully we get him and he can mock me all week. But guys, let's head on over to everything. Let's go cover all the players. And don't forget to play your solo challenges, which I will be doing right after this video because I also forgot. Thank you for reminding myself. Thank you guys for being here to help me remind myself. But let's head on over. You guys know as far as the ultimate free zero chill news goes, EA did announce they will be doing a special stream this, I believe, Thursday, or I believe it was Thursday for the Series 4 drop. So that means that the first special stream we're getting is as of Thursday. So that already means that as of now, we will not be seeing the Ultimate Freeze until past the 13th, because Friday is going to be Series 4. So that, that's already like the 13th, like that's it. We will not be seeing Zero Chill at least until up that day. Now they did say the next special stream will come at a, some, at a later point, which means that Saturday and Sunday, I know they're not doing a special stream. So more than likely, we're not seeing this as the 13th Friday, the 14th, 15th. At the earliest, we're going to see this promo is the 16th. And if they follow current trends where they do Thursdays and Fridays, we might not see this stream. We're going to see this promo anywhere between the 16th and the 22nd. I'd imagine somewhere in between, but I hope they drop Monday because, guys, that's going to be really late. If they drop this promo on, like, an 18th, or 19th, or 20th, it's going to really delay the promo. And not to mention, it's going to kind of suck because we're going to get this promo so late. We're going to lose more than half the month before we get the promo. Kind of ridiculous, guys, but it is the news I have for it. Let's get into the Team of the Week stuff. Guys, okay, so we got the low Team of the Week set pieces starting all the way on the right. We got Brashad Perryman. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit here so we can get a better idea for these. So first things first, we got Brashad Perryman. 78 overall, 90 speed, 82 jump. That's all the stats you really care about in a Brashad Perryman card. He is really fast. Going to be a budget type receiver, although we do have guys like John Ross and Brown already that kind of fill that role. So they're going to have to start getting a little faster to make it a little more usable. We got Drew Locke, 79 overall quarterback. Did have a really good day against... I don't remember, but he did really good, and I'm pretty sure it was an upset tight game, an upset tight game, was it the Colts, I don't remember, anyways, 79 speed, 84 throw power, all stats are in the 70s besides throw power, pretty gross card, not gonna lie, Bashad, Bashad Breland, 83 speed, 86 excel, 82 agility, 81 jumping, no coverage stats, no play rack, no press, not, again, not a card you could really use, Samson Ibukam, 81 outside linebacker, 81 speed, 84 excel, and again, can't pass rush, can't run stuff not very usable of a card deontay johnson one of the heroes of my fantasy week i have the special teams and defense of the pittsburgh steelers and deontay johnson returned a punt for a touchdown i believe he also i believe he also had another one receiving 89 speed 83 jumping 80 catching decent card not the best again falls right in line with all the other 89s and 91 speed receivers that we have that are budget beast hayden hurst a tight end one of the many tight ends for the baltimore ravens 79 speed 65 strength 84 catching 83 spec catch can't really catch can't really run block, can't really run. Again, not much of a usable card. 84 overall middle linebacker, Jayon Brown. 84 speed, 85 excel, 82 tackle, 83 play rep. Can't play zone, can't hit, can't run stuff. Can decently, decently be a user card for a very budget team. Jordan Jenkins, 85 outside linebacker for the New York Jets. 75 speed, 83 excel, 84 strength, 83 tackle, 77 play rep, 81 block shed. So he can't pass rush, he can barely run stuff, he's slow as hell, and he can just barely tackle. I feel like the low set pieces have become the um, a roast more so than an actual card review. 
but it is what it is. Next up, we have 86 overall tight end Noah Fent. He did have a really good week. He's typically fast, so the speed should match up. He's six foot four, so good height for a tight end. 86 speed, great. 69 strength, 86 catching, 82 catch and traffic, 85 spec catch, 79 short route running, 75 medium route running, and 61 run blocking. So he's going to be fast, going to be a decent catcher. Can't really route run or run block, which kind of limits how much I can really use his speed. Going to be more of a over the middle drag type guy, more so than an actual route runner. So decent speed, decent height. Nothing too special, nothing to write home about, but his card is not bad. Next, we got Vic Beasley Jr. In years past, he's been a speed demon off the edge, but it seems to be as though his rushing stats have not really matched the speed as of late 85 speed 87 excel great athleticism amazing for our end 82 strength is decent 79 tackles a little bit on the lower side 80 play breaks a little low 74 block shedding is horrible 70 power moves horrible 80 finesse move is pretty bad too so he can barely pass rush he can barely run stuff he can barely tackle but he's super fast that's like if you put it's like if you put just some speedy high school kid at end madden like I mean, in real life, he's great, but Madden, you can't put a guy who can't run stuff and can't pass for shit end. He's just going to get destroyed. He's going to get blocked all game. Next, we've got Quadre Diggs, strong safety for the Seattle Seahawks. Where did this guy get traded from? I remember he got traded sometime this season. I don't remember where he's from, but he's from another team, I'm pretty sure. Was it the Lions? I think he's from the Lions. 88, let's see, well, let's see his stats. Let's, let's get out of his name. 5'9", really tiny for a strong safety. That's like Earl Thomas-esque. 86 speed, 86 excel. That's decent at best. 71 tackle, not great. 90 play rex, amazing. 80 pursuits, a little low. 82 man, 84 zones, okay. And 80 hit power. So I'd say this is a very well-rounded card. Now, the beauty of this card would be on a theme team specifically, although he cannot be powered up. But he, he has stats just decent enough everywhere. So that if you had him on a theme team, maybe like an 87, 88 speed with, uh, with uh, the right theme team speed. And then you get the zone up a little bit. This card could be made decent with the right theme team. But other than that, I don't really see this card as too great. He's very well-rounded, but I don't see 88 overall well-rounded helping me out online. Next, we got AJ Brown, 88 overall wide receiver for the Tennessee Titans. He's six feet tall, 89 speed, 86 jumping, 87 catching. 86 catch in traffic, 82 spec catch, 84 short route running, 81 medium route running, and 76 deep route running. Card actually looks pretty good. Great speed, decent jumping, decent catching, decent route running, all well rounded, all, all around well rounded. I just wish his speed was a little bit higher and his catching was slightly higher. Not a horrible card though. The word for today's video is Elf. Comment down below Elf, your console, subscribe to the channel, and like the video on your entrance to win. Good luck. So, for the first defensive hero that we have, it is Joe Hayden, 92 overall cornerback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Got the block and chain chem. He can be powered up, guys. That is key. That is key to this Joe Hayden card. So, let's see. He's 5'11, decent height. He's got 88 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility. Decent athleticism. I'm not saying it's amazing, but it's not bad. 92 jumping is great. 93 player is great, 90 man is great, 89 zone coverage is great, and 91 press is great. So here's the beauty of this card. Listen to this. So if he's on, if he's powered up and kept up all the way with Sprinter and John Madden, he can get up to a 91 speed, 90 Excel probably stays, 90 agility. His jumping will be like a 93, 94. His player will be like a 96. His man will be a 93, 94. His zone will be like a 92, and his press will be like a 93, 94. His card's going to be insane, just powered up and kept up. Well, these I should say great, not insane. Now, on a theme team, you put him on a Steelers theme team or a Browns theme team, this card's going to be one of the better cornerbacks in the game on a theme team. Obviously, you can say that about a lot of players, but at least this card has use. Now, if the speed was a 90, this card would have been even better. This card would have probably matched up with, like, the Night Train lanes and everything if you had, like, a 91 speed. Not a bad card. A pretty great card, to be honest with you. I don't think it helps the average... I don't think the typical common player, it helps that much, but for theme team guys, Joe Hayden fans, not a bad card at all not gonna lie can be it has a lot of potential because it can be powered up that's the beauty of power ups that every card in this game has potential just off power ups alone now on to the next card we got the oh wait did i call this the def offensive here before i meant that was the defensive here if i said that now for the offensive here we got jimmy garoppolo jimmy g 92 overall quarterback he's got that commander helmet as his archetype now this upsets me right because i expected another guy to be here i thought drew Brees would be somewhere up here but he was not but they did kind of hint at the fact that that does most likely imply that he will be in a later promo such as the christmas promo or something coming after that now jimmy g is six foot two 75 speed so the speed's a little low 91 throw power is good 93 throw accuracy is good 88 medium accuracy is low 87 throw deep is low 88 throw under pressure is decent 88 throw on the run is a little low 89 play action i could care less for now here's the issue with this card, right? First off, if you do can you can't power him up. That's the first issue. If you do chem him up, you can't get his throw deep to a 90. You can get his throw under pressure to like a 90, his throw power to like a 93. He'll make him a good passer. But here's the issue with this card. Why would I get Jimmy G, 
but I can get Lamar Jackson. Now, Lamar Jackson has similar throw power chemmed up. He's going to hit the threshold. They're going to hit Lamar Jackson, hit the throw power threshold, the throw short, almost threshold, the throw deep threshold, the throw under pressure threshold, the throw in the run threshold, and the play action. The only thing th Lamar Jackson misses is the, the mid range. That's about it. So, the differences between them two is like almost 20 speed. Like that, that's, that's the realistic difference between having a Lamar Jackson and having a Jimmy Garoppolo. So that, that is my issue with this Jimmy G is that if you're going to make a card, a card who's a, a hero and a pocket passer, at least give him 89s across the board. So at least chemmed up, he'll have almost everything above 90. In this case, you're going to have to pick between go deep or like West Coast. You're not going to be able to get all of them up. I'm not the biggest fan of this Jimmy G card. I think they could have done a lot better or at least given us a Drew Brees or something. But decent card, not, not my favorite. I think there's a lot of other quarterbacks that look just like him. Now let's get to the LTD. The LTD is Austin Eckler. Now I could be I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we already have an Austin Eckler um, offensive hero already. Could be entirely wrong on that, but I feel like this is the second one we've gotten. He's an evasive back. He's 92 speed, which is great. He cannot be powered up though. 92 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility. All well rounded, pretty great. 89 carrying is good. 77 catching is a little bit low. I thought it'd be better because he's kind of a borderline receiving back. 90 elusiveness is great. 72 trucking is low. 89 bird tackle is great. So chemmed up and everything. You really can't chem up speed. You really can't chem up acceleration or agility. That's more so like a power up thing, kind of sprinter thing. So chemmed up, it would really only impact maybe his break tackle, his trucking, his elusiveness, his agility. But speed and excel is not going to be probably gonna be untouched unless you can toss sprinter on him, which I don't know if LTDs can get sprinter and stuff on them. I don't believe they can. But as a whole, this Austin Eckler is decent. A little lackluster. It's kind of like getting a, a borderline gadget receiving back as their LTD. Now, at one point, he was a workhorse, but he's not really suited for that workhorse spot. That's more so Melvin Gordon. Austin Eckler is the guy that he's a, he's a big play guy. can make any play big. He's very, very consistent. Very, he's, a great, he's a great running back. I just think he's borderline receiver back, borderline gadget player, more so than workhorse running back, which even in Madden, we have plenty of other options at running back that I probably prefer. Now, let's head over to the Madden screen to close out this video. All right, guys, so that is about it for the video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below and enter the 25 days of Pood Miss. Guys, that is pretty much it. That is all I have for the rest of the video, guys. Just overall consensus before we go to the Pood Miss part is that cards were good, cards were decent. I don't think they were insane. I think they were overall well-rounded. I wish the lower pieces would start to get a little bit better so they were more usable. This drop was not bad. I hope I can get this video for you guys out by like 11.10, the, uh, the latest. Hopefully, I'm going to rush to get through this all. And that's about it, guys. Uh, hopefully ultimate freeze comes in a sooner time than they even said on the stream because it says like it's gonna be a while But let's get into this so guys 25 days of food miss all you gotta do comment down below the secret word Like the video And make sure to subscribe to the channel once you do those three things and comment your console also you are entered to win good luck boys Thank you for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace